Hello, ILRIs. Dean Colvin here. Just wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you on the uh, last day of classes of what's obviously been a very unusual spring term, uh, really unprecedented in uh, the history of Cornell, where uh, you've been finishing up your classes online using Zoom and Canvas to connect distantly as we all um, work hard on maintaining social distancing uh, during our response to the COVID-19 pandemic. I wanna start though by congratulating all of our graduating students on this, the last day of classes for their senior year. Uh, this has been an unusual senior year, um, but you've done an amazing job dealing with what's really an unprecedented situation. Uh, it's obviously been a challenge, but in your four years here at Cornell, you've really uh, done some amazing things. You've shown resiliency. You've uh, been um, a wonderful class, uh, great students, and you're now about to complete your degrees. Uh, pretty soon, you're going to be alumni of Cornell University, and that's a pretty amazing achievement. So I want to congratulate you on all the hard work that you've put in um, in achieving that. But I also want to uh, call out to all uh, of you students uh, and thank you for the amazing level of engagement you've shown in uh, classes as we're finishing off this term. I know that some of you are in quite difficult situations um, at home. You've had family and friends affected by the pandemic um, and it's put enormous strains on everyone. Um, however, um, I do want to uh, thank you for your engagement, uh, your participation in the classes. Uh, uh, faculty members have been telling me about the uh, great efforts that the students have been putting in. The uh, participation has actually been higher uh, than usual in many of our classes, and our faculty have really been inspired by your energy, your resolve, and your participation. So I want to thank you for all the great efforts you've been putting in. Um, you're the reason that we do what we do, um, so uh, thank you for that. A few reminders about upcoming dates. Uh, this is the last day of classes, May 12th. Uh, study period is going to start tomorrow, runs from May 13th through 15th, so the rest of this week. Um, if you're like me, you may be finding um, weeks uh, meld into each other, but uh, today is uh, Tuesday, uh, the 12th, and so study period will run from Wednesday the 13th through Friday the 15th. Then exam week period will start uh, May 16th, run through May 23rd. We were going to be having the ILR recognition ceremony, recognizing our graduating seniors on May 23rd and the university graduation on the 24th. However, obviously that's not possible because of the public health situation. Uh, the university is not going to do a virtual ceremony. Uh, President Pollock announced that uh, she uh, really wants to have an in-person celebration, and we're going to do that as soon as the circumstances allow, get you back to campus, as hopefully all of our graduating seniors, um, and also give a chance for your family and friends who I know have put so much support into your time here at Cornell, give them a chance to come to campus and celebrate with you. Uh, do it in style, and we're committed to doing that for you. Uh, we have other uh, traditions at the end of the year at ILR, including our McPherson Awards, where we recognize students and faculty for their outstanding achievements. Uh, we're going to be holding a, a virtual uh, award ceremony um, in a, a couple of weeks, and we're going to send out some more information about that as we get closer to it. Um, I want to mention something that we've been uh, working on here at the ILR School. We do research and teaching around the world of work, and obviously the world of work is being really deeply affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, the uh, way in which we do work has been transformed by it. Uh, obviously, we're right now communicating over Zoom online. Um, much work is being done that way currently. Um, workers are dealing with uh, health and safety issues in the workplace that are um, profoundly important for our public uh, safety. And looking forward, we're going to have to deal with the economic fallout from this massive pandemic uh, that's going to be pretty profound for our society. Our faculty are doing research on these areas and have a lot of expertise. Uh, we've recently launched an uh, information hub uh, about COVID-19 and work. It's an online website compiling a range of information and uh, viewpoints uh, 
from our faculty uh, that helps to explain what's been happening in the world of work as a result of the pandemic. And you can find a link to the COVID-19 and Work uh, Hub on the ILR homepage. Uh, that's ilr.cornell.edu. Um, this has been part of our uh, mission to help inform the world about important issues in the world of work. This is part of our land-grant mission. We are the New York State School of Industrial Labor Relations uh, with a land-grant institution for New York State. And so this is part of our contribution there. And the Information Hub has been incredibly well received by both the general public and policymakers across the state and nationally. And one additional thing we're doing with it is that our student services team has been working on a plan to have students get involved with some of the uh, research and insights uh, from the hub. Um, and we're setting up a program that's um, going to be a little online sort of alternative to um, the traditional internships, uh, recognizing that there's uh, been uh, much tightening and restriction of internships uh, this summer. We're going to be looking to involve our alumni in this effort and uh, we'll be communicating more about this program as uh, it gets finalized in the coming weeks. So keep an eye out for that. To finish off with, I do wanna again, thank you for your continued dedication to your studies. Uh, I know these are challenging circumstances uh, for all of us and for our society. Uh, this is uh, a different way of doing education, but uh, we're trying to hold true to our basic Cornell principle of any person, any study. Um, and really extend it to this idea of uh, study in any circumstances. Uh, this is not um, the situation we want our society to be in. It's not the situation we want to be learning in, but we're doing our best in the circumstances. And I'm really inspired by your efforts to continue your studies um, uh, during this situation. Uh, I know that um, you're putting in uh, some really great efforts as our, our faculty and staff in making sure that you can continue your studies uh, during uh, this difficult situation. So take care, stay well, and uh, you'll be hearing more from us soon. Uh, goodbye for now.